Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA have done something just today in this game that we have been waiting years for. And yes, it does have to do with those Team of the Season rewards changes that are upcoming to FIFA 23. I want to talk about that today, all that we learned about the new rewards that are coming and how it's going to impact this game, how it's going to impact the market and prices, and especially some weekend league demand. Every single weekend, there are going to be people wanting to play this game. And even throughout the week, there's going to be so much gameplay demand because more tots are going to be packable in rewards than ever. So we have to take a look at that. And of course, looking to today on Wednesday, what's the content going to be today? One day closer to team of the season this Friday. The excitement is building. The hype is building. We have a big game today for the showdown between Ben White and Gundogan City versus Arsenal. So that's big as a part of content today too. And today we're going to see the last team of the week of the game. Yeah, you heard me correctly. We're going to talk about that in today's video. If you're excited for it, if it helps you at all, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's take a look back at yesterday just really quickly at the content that we had on the Tuesday, right? It wasn't that crazy of a Tuesday on content on this game. More so, it was more exciting about the news that we got in the game. And a part of that, the loading screen. We obviously have the 81 times 11 Bundesliga upgrade pack that was dropped. It's about 65,000 coins. It's just a little bit cheaper because there's no 85 rated player requirement in this 81 times 11. And it worked out nice that EA dropped this 81 times 11 because also yesterday on the game, we had the Bundesliga Tots vote. And this is my Bundesliga Tots vote right here. Guys, looking at this. This could be a really, really stacked team, apart from the attackers. Like, if I'm looking at the attackers in here, Kolomani, Florian Verts, Diaby. Yes, you have guys like Becker. Yes, you have Luka Bekio, Fulkrug, Taram. I don't know how in the world Nkunku has made it into this vote after being injured for basically the entire year. Getting his foot birthday SBC, which having that SBC and spent the coins, having spent the coins for that, now I'm like, man... I hope Nkunku doesn't get into Tots, but at the same time, Nkunku getting into Team of the Season would be absolutely insane, and I actually can see it happening. But guys like Jude Bellingham, Musiala, Kimmich, you know, the defense with guys like Frimpong, Davies, Schlotterbeck, Delict, Kobel, with some nice Dortmund and some Bayern links. Bundesliga Team of the Season is always Dortmund and Bayern dominated, but this could be a really nice Tots team, so make sure you get your voting in. Voting ends in a couple of days, but we'll see how this team ends up looking. I'm just so curious to see how the attackers played out at the end of this vote to see who does win. So that was kind of the Bundesliga themed content yesterday. We also had a player of the month, Openda. He finally dropped, but EA didn't really give him that nice of an upgrade. 67, 68,000 coins to do the SBC. You kind of see it's like a split difference here. Some people like it, some people don't. The thing that is uh, yeah, kind of, I guess, the negative about this card, he only went up a plus one, only plus one and plus two stats around the card, even on his individual stats not some very big upgrades and they didn't give him a weak foot or a skill move boost which is disappointing to say the least on this openda player of the month so they made him cheap but also at the same time they gave him a small upgrade so it's kind of a bummer i think we were hoping for more and something just a little bit better with that openda player of the month yesterday so that's there it's going to be out for of course a while as all player of the months are and uh, it was kind of a quiet day apart from the news that we first saw from this loading screen, guys. And I can't tell you how exciting this is because we have been asking for this in FIFA for years now. We have been asking for the red versions of cards in FIFA, like the Weekend League Rewards, to have a actual Team of the Season card design. Not the same red card design that we see year-round on the Team of the Week cards, but something completely different. EA dropped this loading screen saying mode reward changes starting in three days, one hour. They dropped a website along with this and a message in the game, but like, look at that card design, bro. That's going to make me want to play Weekend League more to try to get actual Team of the Season reds in my team, apart from just the regular Team of the Season uh, red design being the same as the team of the weeks like it was in years past now there's a lot to talk about with this so strap in because there's a lot of news and also a lot of kind of I guess theory and, and thinking through this we don't have all the answers yet but we do have some answers now they have mentioned just like they did last year the foot champions cycle is going to be delayed I don't know if you guys remember last year in foot champions it started later and also ended later and the reason it has to start later is it, 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 it contains players from the current release of Team of the Season. Like this Friday, when Community Tots is released, Community Tots cards and Eredivisie Tots cards will be in the rewards starting 
uh, this Friday. Basically, you'll be able to play Foot Champs on Friday after content. The actual Foot Champions finals do not open until two hours after content. That's kind of the new start time. Two hours after content every single Friday. It's 8 p.m. UK time, whatever that time is for you. Content plus two hours is when you can start playing Foot Champs. And then, of course, we have the 48-hour extension. So instead of Foot Champions ending on Monday morning at 8 a.m. UK, it is now going to end Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. UK. And EA do that. So, of course, like we know, they can include the current TOTS cards in the current release of rewards. Basically, think about it as this. Community Tots comes out on the 28th, which is this Friday. You're going to be able to pack Community Tots and Air Divisie Tots cards in rewards literally that same night. If you get your games done so fast in the next couple of hours after that, and you grind them all out, you'll be able to pack those cards in reds. And uh, I guess we'll figure out what the uh, tradable packs look like with how many cards will be in the tradable like team of the season pack instead of the top team of the week pack that we're used to, right? So that's kind of the cool thing about Tots rewards every year. But I mean, this card design is deck absolutely unbelievable and the fact that it starts listing in here um, some of the intricacies about this is that they're going to be giving out more rewards um, not necessarily for foot champions but for the other game modes that we'll get to in a second a couple of small things i want to point out from ea's website here um they have mentioned they're excited to drop the special tots foot champs red design that's a huge part of all of this here's check this sentence here you might have missed this but i want to read this to you all tots and TOTS moments that are available in packs will be made available as Team of the Season Foot Champs Red items. They list Team of the Season moments in here, which is very interesting to me because the Team of the Season card design and the Team of the Season moments card design are completely different, right? This is one of the leaks that we had yesterday. Bijlo, right? Joellington as well. A couple of these leaks, that's the TOTS moments design right there, right? It's not as cool, not as ornate as the big regular team of the season design, but EA lists that here on their website saying that maybe TOTS moments cards are going to be in packs as a part of this, so that's something to watch out for. But uh, again, we have the extension in here. It's going to start late and end later, which is very nice, right, to get all of your games in. And then also, they're going to gift everybody the qualification points to jump into Foot Champions playoffs um, already. So if you've gone into FIFA, you've probably noticed you don't have to play rivals to play foot champs qualifiers, just like they've done so many times this year in the spring during foot birthday, trophy titans. They've gifted us the quality points to get in. Now, they've also dropped ahead of the time that this weekend league is going to be starting a TOTS foot champs opening weekend objective, which is kind of cool in my opinion. It's not going to be easy for everybody to do, but if you're playing weekend league, you're at least going to get to play one. And the play five player picks, and hopefully you can get one win or five wins to get some 81 times 11 packs as well, and another player pick. So these top four should be ones that if you're playing weekend league and getting into finals, you'll be able to do. I mean, this is, of course, foot champions or finals, so you can get all of these done even before you get into the weekend league if you play five matches of qualifiers. But then the lower objectives here are kind of fun. And you know what? I rate this from EA because it just gives you a choice on if you want to go for some more leagues specific packs you have the 81 11s and the 81 or sorry the 75 times 11 for the league one but if you win three games from uh with 11 players from that specific league in your starting squad you get that extra 81 times 11 so maybe for like premier league and for bundesliga since those are the most like recent or upcoming like the first two basically single league releases of tots that could be maybe something you go for this weekend so that you have to have the opportunity to hold these 81 times 11 packs to get another one instead of doing the sbc so it's a little grindy but it just gives you another fun way to play foot champs if you want to if you're trying to grind for the best finish possible to get the best tots rewards possible then maybe you're not going to do that and maybe you're going to play with your best team in terms of firepower to get you the best rewards possible that's something you have to think about as well. But I like that EA are giving us options. That is just a W. Now, one other caveat I want to point out about this before we move on is today on Wednesday, EA have literally said it here in this message. Today is the last team of the week of the entire FIFA 23. Team of the week 26, they say here, releasing today, April 26th, uh, will be the last team of the week 
released in this game, which, if you think about it, that's kind of crazy. I know that if you guys remember back in FIFA 21 when we had COVID and the, and the games were stopped and, you know, the leagues were not going on as everything was shut down, that was like the only other time I think ever that they stopped Team of the Week um, like this. Um, and back then, they even replaced it with Team of the Week moments, right? It looks like for right now, they are not putting any more Team of the Week cards in this game. Now, that brings the question up, should... With this news, should we be investing in Team of the Week cards? Well, I hate to break it to you, but Team of the Week cards are actually already inflated. A lot of your 84 and higher rated Team of the Weeks have started going up in value because fodder itself is up a lot in value right now, and that hurts the investing opportunity on some of these Team of the Week cards. Now, also what we've seen before is too, EA will find opportunities and find ways to drop these Team of the Week cards on the game in some sort of upgrade packs, some other sort of objective packs, or maybe even packs in the store. There will be supply. Like, we haven't seen a Team of the Week upgrade SBC in a long time, right? And I think that's going to be something that will make its return during Team of the Season. And also, I could see uh, them not requiring just Team of the Week cards in SBCs as much. You often see it during Team of the Season as well. Instead of just requiring Team of the Weeks, they also require, like, uh, you know, they do Team of the Week or Team of the Season card, right? Now, you do have some other squads in here, like the icon SBCs that say team of the week or foot champion so you know there's still going to be some team of the week demand on the market would you want to invest in team of the week cards you still I think could make an investment on some 84s and maybe some 85 rated team of the weeks as close to discard as you can get them usually 85s are like 12 to 13k 84s are at discard that's going to be something to watch very closely with this week's team of the week which i don't think this upcoming team of the week that's dropping today is going to be supplied that much because it's not going to get supplied from weekend league rewards in the tradable packs because those rewards are changing but if you can get any 80 i would even say 83s 83s and above team league cards as close to 11,000 coins basically discard as you can get them there is uh of course the lack of supply it's going to be hitting the market on this team league card so we could see those prices rise we're going to have a lot of sbcs during team of the season so that is not a bad investment i just don't think it's going to be like the the no-brainer investment that everybody pictures because ea is going to find a way to supply team of the week cards into our clubs via sbcs or objectives so that those prices on the market don't go up too much so that was the last thing i wanted to point out with weekly rewards really quickly also this is big news division rivals we're gonna have red foot champs items in division four and above if you're in divisions five through ten which is like a wake-up call to me i haven't played rivals in the past like two months in this game because um the rewards just did not seem worth it especially if you can play homegrown 11 every single week and get better rewards and more fodder from that than playing rivals now ea have upped the ante to wanting to play rivals if you're in div four and above you're gonna get red items depending on your division and the milestone rank you reach at the end so the only problem with this is it looks like you're going to have to get the red picks. You'll be earning those in the milestone rank. So at the very end of the season, which is probably going to be a long season over a month long. So that's kind of like maybe something you can kind of work on towards the end of the month when those uh, objectives or when those SPCs would actually get released. But, I mean, that's not bad. Honestly, we take it, right? It's another thing with EA is going above and beyond to put out better rewards and to kind of give better rewards at this stage of the game. So we take it. Elite Division, more red player picks. That's a W. We can't complain about that at all. We're going to see the, fin the final update in the coming days on this game. Even squad battles are going to be receiving um, some TOTS rewards as well. Silver and higher can earn you TOTS rewards that increase as you go higher. So that's a W. Honestly, this whole big refresh of the team of the season mode rewards is such a big w now how is it going to impact the market right we've talked about it just shortly a little bit already it's going to bring more demand for team buying and for people to buy cards for their teams to play the weekend league especially with the objective there that kind of shows that you can have players or that you can get extra packs from having players from different 
leagues get three wins you switch to another team get three wins there's going to be a lot of people that are very very interested in that so there's going to be so much price movement every single weekend on this game because people are going to be looking at cards that they could potentially buy for their team to then be trading in and out of their squad to then you know go on to that next objective to get those extra packs it's going to be an absolutely incredible time in these next three four five six weeks on fifa 23 to, to trade and to flip cards because there's, there's going to be constant demand as people are out trying players buying players to fit into their weekend league squads to get those objectives done and of course team of the season always brings a lot of gameplay to man because people are trying to get those red team of the season cards and the fact that we have a real card design for those is just absolutely crazy so that's going to help the market but it's probably not going to help the market truly until we get after the start of team of the season this friday right now the market's still kind of in its low-ish price range some of these cards are going up darwin nunez who was under 400k he's like 440,000 coins right now I remember when felix was 500,000 coins we looked at him on like sunday i think he's up like 50 or 60k he is about 550 560 so these rare cards have started to go back up a little bit right we look at our golden bape who is 345,000 coins he is currently 360k so up a little bit not crazy but that's probably how the market's going to trend until we get to friday uh it does depend on some leaks it does depend on the loading screen right they're probably going to update the loading screen today as a part of wednesday content that's probably going to be part of what they do now we do have a couple other leaks and we kind of looked at these really shortly and talking about some tots moments cards but we have two leaks or actually three joe ellington is added to come as an objective for community team of the season that could be a very interesting objective card. Brazilian links in the Premier League. Joe Ellington, kind of a FIFA favorite card, could be very overpowered. It'd be very interesting to see how they boost the stats on his card. I think in the community tots of voting, he was listed as a midfielder. So maybe they would give him a midfielder card, um, probably deserved. That could be a really juiced card that a lot of people would be interested in. That's our first like official foot sheriff community tots league and then we have a couple other leagues coming from the air divisi bijlo as a goalkeeper not bad and then of course we have hanko the center back uh could be really really overpowered it just would not have as great of links you think about center backs in the air divisi you think about timber right with the dutch links the ix links that he had last year i guess this year as well so hanko being feynord he's definitely going to link to other feynord cards that will be in team this season because uh they're absolutely killing it in the league but um, I, I don't know how overpowered that's going to be because of that nation link that may not be as great. But still, a really cool card is going to be in the game. Air Divisi center back there that could be pretty stacked. Those are the leaks that we have right now um, for upcoming players. Now, watch the loading screen like I mentioned again. Watch that today. Watch some more news for players to be leaked in and a part of the upcoming team of the season squads now a couple other leagues that we have first of all today's content on wednesday we talked about this yesterday it didn't drop yesterday hopefully it's going to drop today according to what this league says that 85 plus player pick one of three sbc is potentially coming to the game today as well so if you're taking a look at fodder if you have been lazy listing your fodder prices yesterday they went down a little bit right 85s were at 13 14 000 coins now they're in the 12k range 83s 84s still up your high rated fodder starting to dip a little bit i think this is literally just the change of people starting to list a few of these cards up because they realize that the kind of demand is starting to filter out and it's more of the supply that is that is coming in so ggs if you sold these guys um you know monday we were kind of talking about this monday night yesterday in the video that it was a good day to sell those cards yesterday and they definitely did drop off right there was probably a little bit of supply that came in from maybe a couple of the sbcs that had individual packs inside of them in the sbc section that people were still doing but you can tell that that demand is dropping off and uh, you're seeing the prices go back down we have to keep a close eye on the middle to high tier fodder this weekend as we have some sbcs refreshing one big sbc refreshing on friday even though it's team of the season with a lot of pack supply upcoming we're gonna have to keep a close eye on that but low tier fodder still for me i think your 85s are gonna go up a little bit more it just depends on the requirement of this player pick sbc today because i do believe that is going to be dropping and then of course like we mentioned the last 
team of the week of this game. What is it going to look like? I'm very, very interested to see what EA might do for this very last team of the week. In a prediction here on Footbin, we've got Hummels. We've got Joelinton. Uh, that's interesting if that would happen. Openda, he just got a player of the month, though. Uh, Lukaka, Lukaku, Lukas Paqueta, Ledesma. Uh, interesting looking team of the week. Nothing super crazy. Uh, we will see what EA dropped today on this game. Hopefully they drop a banger. Come on, EA. Last team leak of the year, you got to know. You got to drop uh, a banger there. So we'll see if that's a part of the content today. But uh, today I think we'll also get, we have not had the League 1 75 times 11 pack yet. We've had all the other leagues except for the League 1. I think that might be our upgrade pack dropping today on this game. Just another reminder to do your daily login SBC upgrade. It'd be crafting any and any all of these SBCs that you could potentially do with the fodder that you have in your club. I just sent to my club some more 84s, some more 85s that I had on my transfer list from the big club stock that I did last week. I'm trying to do this 86 plus double upgrade every day because I think for me, this one is the one that's really worth it because you get two players, 86 plus. Yeah, I know it's tough to pack tots cards because you're only getting two. It's not like you're getting, you know, 11 players like the other 81 times 11s, but I see potential with this, right? So 84 rated squad, no informs, easy requirements, easy done. That's another 86 plus squad uh, or pack save for me. I'm going to be doing a lot of these packs this week. I got to do this 81 times 11 Premier League. I'm going to be doing as much of these from here on out to the end of the week as I can possibly do because guys, Team of the season is this Friday, man. It's getting close. The hype is building, and hopefully the hype continues to build today on FIFA 23. We're going to talk about it all on stream today as we get the new content. So if you're excited for that and you want to drop in there, drop in the twitch.tv slash the foot account and link down below in the description if you just want to click on it there. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and it's great to be back in the setup. See you guys on stream today. Peace out.